Hey, YouTube family, brothers and sisters, how are you guys doing today? Today is my workout day, Monday, doing a couple of sets and reps out here. I felt it would be good to bring this subject up while I was out here working out today in my garage, getting a little breather in. But God dealt with me on something, a little spiritual word I wanted to give to the body of Christ, to the saved brothers and sisters out there. I also want to thank you for those of you that subscribe and follow me. I'm trying to get the truth of God's word out there. So I thank you for following me, my subscribers. If you could like and share and subscribe, I would appreciate that to get the word of God, the truth out to as many as possible in these last and evil days, these perilous times that we're living in. But I had a quick word I wanted to share with you, something that the Lord had gave me to encourage you today. The spirit of God spoke to my spirit from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 27. The Spirit said this to me, and I'm going to read to you from the King James Bible. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. This is Paul writing to the church at Corinth, and he's talking about bringing his body under subjection. And with this body, you have to beat this body under subjection so it can follow the laws and the commandments of God. I want to read to you a couple more other different translations so you can get the meaning of this. The Bible says, in all of thy getting, get an understanding. So let's understand what we're reading. The New International Version puts it this way. No, I strike a blow to my body and I make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. I like that one. No, I strike a blow to my body, to this flesh. I strike a blow to my body and I make it my slave. So I, that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Also, the New Living Translation reads it this way. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Let me first talk about that New International Version where they said, I strike a blow to my body. In this flesh and blood we live in, this Adamic nature that we have received from Adam, this sinful nature, this flesh right here, we have to bring this body under subjection on a daily basis to the will of God. There are all kind of impure thoughts, impure desires, selfish gratifications of the flesh, evil desires. Jesus says from out of the heart, there proceeds corrupt speech, co uh, corrupt communication, adultery, theft, lying, killing, murder, stealing, all kind of stuff come out of our flesh. And you have to take this flesh and blood and you have to beat this body under subjection. You got to give it an uppercut. Uh, one scripture even says, I buffet my body. I hit it in the eye. I bring it under subjection. I bring this flesh under control because a man that has no control over his body is like a city that has no walls, the Bible speak of. Back in Old Testament times, the city was fortified when it had its walls. The walls were the guarantee that the city would stay fortified and would stay strong. So the city would have strong foundation walls around it as a border, as security, as protection to keep the enemies out. So it is with a man. If a man does not have self-control 
over his emotions, over his will, over his desires, he will be left out there for, to the wolves for anything. So as I said before, there are many thoughts that come to our mind, come to our head. We think a lot of evil thoughts, a lot of nasty thoughts, a lot of lustful thoughts, pornography, all kind of filth, all kind of junk. There's a whole lot of things that if you didn't beat this body and buffet it and bring it under subjection, this body would run rampage over you. This body would take control and do whatever it wants to do. Like one version of a translation I read, this one right here in the uh, New Living Translation said, I discipline my body like an athlete. An athlete is one who works out and they train to perfection. When you're an athlete, you can't eat everything you want to eat. You might see that German chocolate cake over there that you love and you want a slice or a piece of. But when you're training your body for a competition, whether it's a, a running competition, whether it's a weight competition, whatever it might be, you have to discipline this flesh. You have to bring the desires of this body, the gratifications of this flesh under control. You must train your body like an athlete. Even now, as you see me out here two to three times a week, I try to get out here in my garage and weight lift, work out with the dumbbells. I mean, none of us like to do it. Uh, get on the treadmill, do cardio for 20 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour, bike ride, walk, whatever we have to do to keep this body under subjection because if you don't, you'll get overweight, you'll get all type of diseases in your body and your flesh, high blood pressure, diabetes. You just can't eat, eat, eat and never work out. So you have to discipline this body, and it's the same in the spirit. When you take control of this body and you begin to fast on a weekly basis, every two-week basis, monthly basis, whatever it is, when you fast, you tell this flesh you are not going to have your way. You are not going to be in control today. You might want to eat that German chocolate cake, but you're not getting it. You're not getting a hold of it. You put limitations on this flesh. You tell this flesh you're going to eat that German chocolate cake after three days of me fasting, then you'll have that German chocolate cake. But you can't give in to every whim and every desire, every urge of your flesh. There's some things, like I said, that this flesh would love to do. That's why you see people in the world caught up in adultery, uh, this Derek Jackson guy, this romantic uh, relationship expert that's giving advice to the women and at the same time cheating on his wife. You have to bring those self-gratification and those urges under control. You have to beat this body under subjection. When I say beat, I'm talking about physically give this flesh a whooping and tell it what it's not going to do. Because the Bible says the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. There's a constant battle of God's will and the devil's will. There's God's children and there's the devil's children. And uh, you got to discipline your body like an athlete. You got to train your spirit man. You got to train your spirit man to pray every day. Me and my wife get up, we pray every day. You got to train yourself after you pray. You got to get into your word. You got to get into some daily word. Not every two days, every three days, once a week. Every single day, you got to get into God's word and get something for yourself. I use church as a supplement. I don't really use church as my daily word for Sunday and Bible class days. Those days are supplements in accordance to everything else I'm already doing. So I'm already taking God's word in on a daily basis. So I use church as a supplement to my daily reading and what God speaks to me. But you train your spirit, man. Or you bring it under control with fasting, Bible reading, prayer. You do those things that the flesh does not like. I want to read a couple more, then I'm going to be done with this. The English Standard Version says it this way. But I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. And the Berean Study Bible says it like this. No, I discipline my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Paul talks about an athlete that gets into the race and he trains and he runs for uh, a piece of gold, a gold medal or a gold uh, a crown or something like that to that extent. 
But see, we don't want to preach to others. I don't want to do all the preaching and teaching of God's word to you. And then in the end, I'd be disqualified and I'm a castaway. Because see, my preaching and teaching can help others be saved. But if I'm living a life full of shambles, full of dead men, skeleton bones, and got bones and hidden skeletons in the closet, I can be disqualified. But even though you were saved, off of my preaching and teaching, I myself was disqualified from gaining the prize, which is heaven, which we all are trying to make heaven our home. So just a little thought in short today, we beat our body, we strike a blow to our body, we enslave this flesh, and we bring its gratifications, its thoughts, its desires, anything that rules itself against the thoughts of God, we bring it down, we beat it down, we buffet this body. We bring this body under discipline on a daily basis. The same way you have to work out, the same way you have to exercise to keep this flesh under control and to keep this body in a healthy, fasted state, it's the same thing you got to do spiritually. You got to work out, uh, throughout the week, you have to work your spiritual man out every single day, eating God's word. There's a plethora of good spiritual books out there, a good plethora of spiritual TV shows, movies that you can watch to feed yourself and grow in the wisdom, the grace, and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, brothers and sisters, God bless you today. May you be strong and grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Savior and I will bring you another video that God has laid on my heart about Nas, uh, uh, little X Nas, I think this, that's his name. I'll get back to you with this video, but he just came out with a shoe and he did a video of uh, him being in hell. But I want to talk about that a little bit more and bring you up to date on some spiritual implications of that video. God bless you.